I don't see a future for Western civilization that isn't built on a digital supply chain. Let's talk about Industry 4.0, the state of Industry 4.0. So I, I got this question the other day. Hey, Walker, so, you know, you talk about Industry 4.0 all the time. Real quick for our definitions. When I talk Industry 4.0, I'm not talking about the EU standard, that piece of garbage standard that they wrote at the early, at the beginning of the 2010 decade. Uh, good people, shitty standard. Uh, but that that's a perfect example of people taking a position, you know, and the, the EU took a position on what Industry 4.0 is. And because they publicly stated what that position is, they've they've they haven't come off of it. They're even though they're wrong, they're clearly wrong. They're seeing net job loss. Um, they're seeing very very uh, low adoption. They're seeing decreased efficiency in manufacturing, not increased. Why? Because their maturity model is flawed. The approach that they go through to help transform organizations is flawed. They believe that. Digital transformation starts with computerization. That's fucking ridiculous. It starts with education. It's absurd. It's absolutely absurd. Just throwing computers someplace doesn't mean you're getting mature. I know lots of people who have computers in their house who are morons. Okay. They're, they didn't get any smarter simply because they have a computer. They got smarter when they were taught how to use that computer and leverage it as a tool. Just because you give a hammer to a monkey doesn't mean they're, mean they're going to pick up a nail and, and pound the nail in. Right. You have to teach them how to use. You have to either have to show them. You got to model it. Right. It starts with education that a basic fundamental flaw in the EU industry 4.0 standard. So when we talk about industry 4.0, we're not talking about that standard. We're talking about the fourth industrial revolution, the automation of business processes, the transformation of data into information so that you can make better decisions. OK, there's a whole there's a big, long list of what that process looks like. Right. There's this big, long list of what that process looks like, okay? When you're digitally transforming, the fourth industrial revolution, what does that actually mean? How do you automate business processes, okay? We talked about this a million times, but it, it, it happens in two big steps. And there's, a, there's an end goal, okay? Step number one is becoming a smart company, okay? You're becoming a smart business. You do that by connecting, collecting, and storing all your data. You analyze and visualize that data generally in manufacturing execution to begin with, okay? You basically turn that data into information and put it on screens for human beings to make decisions, informed decisions. Then you put a layer on top of that, which is data lakes, machine learning, algorithms, artificial intelligence, to find patterns in that data that human beings can't see on the screens. They can't see with the naked eye, okay? You find patterns, then you predict the future from those patterns, you report the, the potential future, and then you solve the problem. Do you know what happens when you become a smart business? The first thing you have to do in order to become a smart business is to recognize that the primary commodity in your business is data. It's not the product you create, okay? The second step after you've become a smart business is plugging into a digital supply chain. And everything that we're gonna talk about today is like, what's the status of Industry 4.0, the fourth industrial revolution, especially in the West, I'll tell you, go to fucking Walmart right now. Go to the grocery store. Go to Target. Go on Amazon. Okay? Um, go to the gas station. Um, try, to, try to hire somebody to make modifications to your home. I want to add a, an addition to my house. Okay? The reality is, is the, the supply chain issues that we're seeing right now are a direct result of a lack of vision in the early 2010s. There were companies that understood that becoming a smart business is something we need to do for the future, not just for today, but for the future. And then there are many companies who said, fuck that, I'll worry about the next union contract and I'll, I'll worry about what, what stick with our lean Six Sigma black belt approach or our, or our Kaizen approach to continuously improving our flawed processes, as opposed to focusing on transforming our organization, top to bottom. If you look at, we were talking about the supply chain issue earlier. So let's talk about this piece, the reality about Industry 4.0, okay? Um, how do we know that things are not going well in terms of Industry 4.0? 
So Cheryl asked me that this morning. I was like, you know, the, the, the state of Industry 4.0 right now in the West, and I'm only going to talk about in the West right now. Here's my point. Not enough transformative leaders exist. Leaders who are focused on doing the right thing. So how are we going to fix Industry 4.0? How are we going to fix it? Well, number one, manufacturers need to focus on the board of directors need to fire their CEOs who have MBAs to starting tomorrow, need to move the CTO <laughs> into the role of CEO starting tomorrow. Okay. Number two, you have to create a culture of innovation. So stop, stop looking for people to blame for every problem and start encouraging people to try new ideas, fail and recover quickly. Number three, you need to make data the centerpiece of your organization. So throw out the manufacturing playbook that focuses on market and product and bring in the industry 4.0 play, play, playbook, which says we're going to become a smart business first, plug in digital supply chain second by focusing on being a data company first. Okay, that, that's how you fix it. But it, what I'm saying is this. In light of the fact that we have major supply chain issues, we have major supply issues, and they are not going to get better, and we are not seeing an increase. We are not seeing a exponential effect on manufacturers specifically, because that's my purview. That means that the current state of industry 4.0 is fucking abysmal. It's abysmal. It's abysmal. And, I, and I'm going to be having a meeting with one of our clients tomorrow. And I'm going to tell them, you guys are fucked. You're, you're in a lot of trouble. You're in a lot of trouble. And, and, and the reason why is I don't see a future for Western civilization that isn't built on a digital supply chain. I don't see one. The status quo will not be able to sustain us. And we don't have the incentives in place right now for people like Mary Barra to care. So I, I'd love, by the way, I'd love Mary Barra to come on here and defend herself. I know she's super smart. She's great at debating. I'm better at debating than she is, okay? I'm also a peon relative to the CEO of GM, but it, it, I, if Mary Barra wants to come on here and defend herself, or Jim Farley from Ford wants to come on here and defend herself, I'm all for it. I'd, I'd let him come on here and I'd let him blast me if they want to, okay? Most CEOs are political animals. Yes.